Nation. Oh God. <laughs> Main Event TV, aka Me TV. Oh, why you gotta leave? Oh God, aka a man called Horse. Oh God, it's over for our city. AKA the Midnight Me Train. Ladies, y'all know about that. Holla at me. Oh God, LeBron is gonna leave. <laughs> 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 All the tears, all the yummy, yummy tears, yum, 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 all the tears, I love them, oh my god, I told you, y'all knew it was coming, y'all knew it was coming, and I had said to Nick he was going to go to New York, but he went to Miami, but I knew he was going to leave, but the longer he had stayed, I really thought he was going to stay in Cleveland, but that's not the point, Cleveland fans, Cleveland fans, no, hold on, before I, whoa, 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 before I get even started, fans, Everyone uses everybody. Don't say Vic. Why are you wearing a Cleveland Indians jersey? You're from Philly. Look, look. I got family in Cleveland, all right? So when I go out and visit, you know, I got the jersey. Oh, we all know about the, the Indians collapse, all right? So roll with me for a minute. Now, ah! <laughs> anyways, look, 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 look. All right, all right, all, right. all joking aside. Cleveland fans, you have every right to be angry. There's no reason why LeBron James needed an hour special to make this announcement and pretty much on national TV bitch slap you guys. It's like it's right in the mouth. Seriously, that's what he did to you guys. So I understand why you were angry. You have every right to be angry. However, it, this is also partially your fault. Why? Let's see. Because maybe you indulged this guy to do this. Everything that it's been the king, self-titled king, and they took the marketing and they ran with it. He has been catered to his entire career in Cleveland. They opened up stores, clubs, whatever. That's why there was a team LeBron, because your owner, Gilbert, did this. All right, he came to him, and you can't just come out of nowhere, Gilbert, and be like, oh, well, LeBron is cowardice and this, that, and the third. You made him this way. All right, and you also did this to yourself because you were going, you were putting the team pretty much down in the hole before anything. You got rid of Danny Ferry. You went and changed coaches. Like I, I don't understand this, you know. So it, it's not just LeBron's fault as well. It's also your owner and some of the fans. I understand the fans are just they're just there to cheer or whatever, but you indulge this guy. You have to understand that. Now, with that being said, with that being said. I have to defend LeBron just a little bit, a little bit. I'm playing devil's advocate because no matter what LeBron would have picked, somebody was going to hate him. If he stayed in Cleveland, New York, and Chicago, well, all the dick sucking they've been doing for the last year, up to now, would have been they'd have been pissed off. They would have been pissed off. All right, Miami would have been fine because they had already got Bosch or whatever, and whatever. So they'd have been content. They wouldn't have been happy, happy, but they'd have been content. So. If LeBron left, of course Cleveland was going to be mad. All right? It doesn't matter where he went. Somebody's going to be angry at him. Because everyone now is going to say, this guy cannot do it on his own. Not like all these other NBA legends have done before him. All right? He's not going to be the guy in Miami. And personally, I don't think he is. Wade is still the guy. It's his house. He built that. It's his house. All right? So, when they get to Miami... What you guys have right now is pretty much the evil empire, all right? I'm just going to put it out there. The axis of evil, whatever you want to call it. You're going to be hated, all right? And the jersey number should say, it should say, LeBron is it LeBron and Bosch should say number one and number two. And on the back, it should just say, Wade's bitch. That's what it should say. That's what it should say, all right? Now, uh, shout outs to uh, Pat's fan for, for bringing this up because I didn't know at first. But when LeBron growing up, he was a Bulls fan, a Cowboys fan, and a Yankees fan. Now, anyone growing up in that time knew they were the only three teams that were winning championships. So what does that tell you? He's been a front runner his entire life. He doesn't know how it feels to get an obscure team and build it all the way up to a championship team. He doesn't, especially on the way he quit last year in the playoffs. I really thought the longer he would have taken to make this decision, he would have stayed in Cleveland, but apparently that's not the case. And if he would have slept on it for one more day, then we'd all be saying, oh, well, now he's just beating us and now we got to wait another day. 
He couldn't have, it, it's that simple. He couldn't have done anything to please anybody, okay? He couldn't have. <laughs> oh, it's great. All oh, the tears. But Cleveland fans, like I said, I do feel bad for you. You get burn the man's jersey on TV and he's watching live and he's like, oh, well, he's like, how do you feel about this, LeBron? He's like, well, the fans are going to do that, and that's just, and he looked like he wanted to cry so bad. Oh, it's mommy and those Leon commercials. And, Coach, they hurt my psyche. They hurt my psyche. That's what it felt like, and it was hilarious, all right? And then LeBron's like, well, after I talked to my mom about the case, I'm thinking, and my stepdaddy, Delonte West, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he's the real king of my house. Uh, like, seriously, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Man, this is this has been Great entertainment for the last last night to this morning. ESPN is showing it now. It's like a funeral. It's 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 amazing. It's amazing. I'm just so happy to see this because I'm really they already talking about how people hate him so much now. And it's like I thought he was a great player, but I never liked him personally. I've said that on record how many times? So we knew this was coming. We knew it was coming. Alright? Cleveland fans, like I said, feel bad, but Guys, you can't be, you can't, man, he gave you six, seven years, and the way he went out was pretty, that's a pretty bitch move to, to, to lose like that. Really thought he was going to come back with some type of revenge, but I guess not. So, oh, oh, oh my God, New York fans, why are you in front of Madison Square Garden and cheering for LeBron, and then when you don't get him, y'all be like, well, fuck LeBron, Carmelo, Carmelo, stop dicking, you Sons of oh man, it's all. And then on ESPN after after the uh after the 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 decision, they're talking that they show at Cleveland bars, and the ladies like more on on angry uh, angry Cleveland fans more after this. And she gives them the death stare, like you gotta be kidding me. And then they show everyone, and they're like, and then when people are mad they're leaving. She said one lady started crying and ran out the bar. Other reports said that they had to close down some uh, sports bars and bills because people start going nuts. Like, look, you, your city is not over. It'll be okay. However, you should be mad at your owner, Gilbert. Be mad at him, really. Like I said, there's no way you can there's no way you can put this team down south already. You got rid of Danny Ferry as a GM. I'd love to have Danny bring Danny Ferry here to Philly. Get out. You can have him. How about this? You can have him as defense. You can have him. I don't want him. You can have him. All right. Or Billy King, our old guy. You can have him too. You got both of them. How about that? Come on. Seriously, Cleveland, it'll be okay. All right. It's definitely a rebuilding stage now. It really is. But seriously. So it just goes to show you the mentality. It doesn't matter anymore about trying so hard it's it's look they want to win and they want to win now that's what it is so clean the fans get back to me basketball fans not even basketball just haters <laughs> lovers get back to me i will talk to y'all later be safe Woo. <laughs> i'm out